Gentleman from Florida is recognized for one and one half minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We clearly need to pass a stimulus package, a plan that will help our economy. But unfortunately, this plan spends lots of money, but very little to incentivize the economy. It does very little to incentivize small businesses, small businesses, which are the job creators in our country. Frankly, less than 10 percent of the money in this spending bill goes to infrastructure projects. Now, we hear a lot of talk about the infrastructure projects. I agree with that. But less than 10 percent of this bill goes to infrastructure uh, projects. Most of it, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, goes to create a larger federal bureaucracy with little accountability and nearly no oversight. Does that sound familiar? You know, this House last week was here passing legislation that the Senate already said they weren't going to do to try to cover up and fix up the embarrassment of the TARP legislation, of that bailout legislation that had no accountability and no oversight. This bill is more of the same. This is son of TARP, except that's even bigger, with little money and accountability, with little oversight, with less than 10 percent for infrastructure, and with very little to help the job creators, the small businesses in our, in our great country. We need better accountability. We need more oversight. We need more for infrastructure. We need more to help the small businesses and less to just send it to create a larger federal bureaucracy with no oversight. Again, as embarrassing as some people were embarrassed about TARP, this is son of TARP. We're going to read the scandals if this passes the way it is. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.